Hello. For those that I haven't had the privilege of meeting yet, my name is Chris Mahaffey and I have the honor of serving as your Scout Executive. Welcome to our very first episode of our Stakeholders Report. Today we come to you live from the Gosh Chalk Scout Shop here in the Durham Scout Center. I uh, want to take just a brief moment and recap a couple of things that have happened over the summer and talk about some things that are coming in this fall, just so that you know what's going on in scouting here in the Mid-America Council. We have just finished our summer camping season. 1,300 young people attended day camp or resident camp during this summer at Little Sioux or at one of our 19 day camps across our council. 1,600, almost 1,700 young people attended Camp Cedars up in Fremont, earning nearly 5,700 merit badges. That's a lot of camper nights too at Camp Cedars, lots of meals and uh, lots of unique programs that only our council offers in this area. So great opportunities for scouts to grow. We're here in the Gottschalk Scout Shop with uniforms behind me today because our families are going back to school across our territory, right? Uh, we're excited about being in schools and recruiting families. And the unique thing this year is that we're adding girls to Cub Scouting. Uh, the full family is going to be served by nearly 70% of our Cub Scout packs across our council. And we're looking forward to having all of those families, both boys and girls and moms and dads, enjoying the great benefits of our Cub Scouting program. So make sure that if you see a flyer or your grandchildren bring a flyer home or your neighbors bring a flyer home, that you get those kids involved in Cub Scouting this fall. One of the changes we've got in our adult leadership training is our youth protection training. Uh, one of the best trainings that the Boy Scouts of America have put out in a very long time. It's about an hour and a half long. There is a test at the end. The unique thing is, is that it all, all of us have to take this training by October 1st. Uh, it's mandatory to do that. Um, all of your old training, even if you've taken youth protection in the last two years, will expire October 1st. The penalty for not taking youth protection training is that you won't be able to register on the charter or be a member of the Boy Scouts as of January 1 until you take that training. So make sure you get that done because we don't want kids to lose this great opportunity that scouting has to offer. Uh, we just recently got paperwork on Jake Royal, who is our 119th Eagle Scout in the Mid-America Council in 2018. He had a very unique project in the fact that he raised money uh, for Creighton Prep to help buy AED equipment as well as some CPR mannequins so that all of the faculty and staff at Creighton Prep could be trained in CPR. James Bopp, the principal there at Creighton Prep, like this program so much that he's now made it part of the curriculum for all freshman students at Creighton Prep. Good job, Jake, and congratulations to the Royal family on having another Eagle Scout. One of the greatest opportunities we have to deliver program to young people is our Jubilee experience that happens every three to four years. Uh, we're actually doing it every two years now, uh, which is going to be awesome. Down at Mahoney State Park, October 12, 13, and 14, 6,000 plus people will be there that weekend. We want you to come and be part of that experience as well, so don't miss out. Jubilee, October 12, 13 to 14, Mahoney State Park. You can find more information at mac-bsa.org. Our second annual Governor's Luncheon is coming up on December the 12th down at Baxter Arena. This is a unique program that we've put together with Governor Ricketts and his office to raise money for the Boy Scouts of America, doing so in a unique way. Um, we don't sell seats, we invite donors to come and sit in the seats. So we need table hosts to help make some phone calls so we could fill the arena and we can tell the story of what scouting is doing in our community. So if you get a phone call asking you to be a table host, I'd ask that you take the call and I'd ask that you accept uh, and join us for the second annual Governor's Luncheon, December 12th down at Baxter Arena. I hope that these points today have helped you connect a little bit more with what we're doing in the Mid-America Council, uh, not only to serve our kids, but to make sure that we have a greater impact uh, on families in our communities. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and let us know. So thank you very much for all that you do for scouting. We'll see you along the scouting trail.